So today we're looking at how you can find the perfect breeder for your border collie. It is, of course, a huge decision to have even settled on bringing a collie home first off. Well done for that. We're sure you won't regret deciding on this beautiful breed, but by finding the right breeder is almost an equally big decision. Hopefully we can help ease the process for you, so let's get started. Welcome back to the Border Collie Show. If you're new here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenriaCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you need to know about Border Collies. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. So let's get started. When finding a breeder, it's important for you to know that it's okay for you to ask questions. A lot of these questions will come up once you've researched the breed itself. It will be really helpful for you to have a wide understanding of the temperament and history of the Border Collie as a whole, as that really does give you an insight into what you're in for. They are hardworking and very energetic, so making sure you're ready to match that energy is important. Once you have an understanding of this, your questions to your breeder can help you learn what steps they have taken to keep Collies happy. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behavior. As a canine behaviorist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behavior that are important for you to become a high level canine leader and then you can fix your dog's problem behaviors at home or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviors. So again, if you want to check out that course, it's completely free of charge. The principles of canine behavior, there'll be a link down in the description box below and I can't wait to see you over on that course. It's genuinely recommended to know as much as you can about your new pup's background and temperament so you should never feel bad for, fear, for being inquisitive. It will also be an encouragement if a breeder wants to know about you and your home too. A breeder who wants the best for their new litter is a great sign. The only way you're really going to be able to do this though is from meeting them and the litter. Meeting a few times before taking your pup home will be really important for many reasons and getting your questions out of your system is one of them. So what questions are important to ask? Well, you want to know about the breeders themselves. That can really help. Knowing how long they've been breeding and the purpose behind their breeding can give you insights to their intentions. This is important as you'll want to be able to see if they're just wanting to churn out pups as a way of making money and any inkling of that will really be a red flag. Border Collies are an increasingly popular breed and up to number eight in the UK for 2020. So that can encourage scammers to pick up on this and try and make money out of unsuspecting owners. Be extremely careful if anyone is asking for money online before you meet the pup and also find out how many litters they have bred from the, that Border Collie as there are kennel club regulations about this. In fact, we can definitely recommend meeting at least one of the parents before taking any puppy home. The rules within the kennel club state that a bitch is only allowed to produce four litters within a certain age bracket so meeting the mother and inquiring into further details of her litter can help you know if they're reputable breeders also meeting the parents and your pup with the rest of the litter will help you see more about their temperament you will ideally want a pup who isn't bounding around jumping on their siblings nor do you want one who's cowering in the corner the middle of the road puppy should be ideal of course, a huge element when choosing a breeder is knowing that they've taken the health care of the pups and parents seriously throughout the process. You should be able to receive records of as much of the family line as possible from the vet screenings to ensure you're aware of any risks that your pup may have. You'll also want to have a record of their first vaccinations that they should have received with their breeder so that you can book any further vaccinations that you need. Taking steps to understand any health issues can arise will really prepare you for what may be in store with your pup. Although border collies can come in many colours, not just token black and white, there are certain colours that aren't recognised by the kennel club. If there's a pup that's been advertised who is predominantly white or as a rare colour, they may mean that they've been outcrossed with another breed and can incure health problems. So do make sure you bear this in mind too. A wonderful thing about finding a breeder is the potential there is for remaining connected with them in the longer term. It can be really helpful to keep in contact with the breeder and conversation stays open so that there's someone there to bring any of your questions to in the future. 
There is a pretty common occurrence that can be beneficial for all parties, so be prepared to send some photos to them when your pup is settled into their forever home. Seeing a breeder's dedication to their dogs and knowing they have a real love for collies is a truly helpful thing, especially with such an independent and intellectual breed. If you are a first-time owner of a collie, taking notes on training methods and seeing an older dog put to work can be the great foresight and encouragement for you. Remember, no matter how perfect the breeder and how well-behaved the parents of your new papa, they do still need an immense amount of training and socialisation done by you as the owner to help them become a well-rounded border collie. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated border collie videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Border Collie Show.